Hi, this is John Malby from My Bookkeeper Software. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to manage contractors using basic payroll or advanced payroll. So the first example, I have a company that is set up with basic payroll. And when setting up contractors, they're treated as vendors when you're doing basic payroll. So you go into your vendors, set up a vendor as normal. All right, so I have one all set up here. You have your demographic information. And then in the details section, you set up an account that you want to have these payments associated with. But the important thing here is you want to check this box for 1099 eligible and set their tax ID. This box here will determine what check payments or what transactions are associated with the 1099 when you get when those get generated. So you want to make sure this check box is checked. Uh, once you have that set, then you can make a payment to them anyway, credit card, cash, or check. You know, I'm just going to make a check payment here. And I'm just going to want to put it into last year so that it shows correctly on the 1099. Save it. Now, if I go into reports and I go into my payroll section, I'll see that I have the 1099 NEC. I'm going to pull this up. Yeah, I'm going to get a message because I'm looking at it for this year and I don't I want to look at it for last year. So I'm going to pull up last year's information and there's my 1099 you know, for this particular contractor. And that's all you need to do when you're running basic. All right, so now I'm going to switch over to a company I have set up for advanced payroll. And it is a little bit different setting it up for advanced payroll. You do have to go through and set up all of your company information, all the wage types and everything like that, like you normally would for advanced payroll. The difference here for contractors is under payroll from the menu option, you'll see a section called manage contractors. And if I click on this, I'll have all the contractors that I can manage. Again, demographic information, employment, status, and in here, we do have to set them up into a payroll cycle, just like we would any other employee, because that's how advanced payroll works as it pays through cycles. So you set them up whatever cycle you have, set up whatever wage types you have. And again, if in your advanced payroll setup for your company, if you set up multiple wage types, they'll all be listed here. All right. So in this example, I just have one wage type here and I just set their rate. All right. Then once that's all set, then I just go through and do a, a payroll run like I normally would. And in this case here, I have everybody set up in the, in the weekly payroll cycle. If I needed to do something on demand, they're available here as well. Right, but I'm just going to go in to do a regular payroll cycle. I have my contractor mixed in with my regular employee. Right, so I'm going to go in here, put in the 40 hours. And for this employee, I'll do the same. And for this guy, I'm just going to recalculate withholdings and as you normally would you just run through the wizard here for creating payroll i created my checks and now the same i'm going to go back into reports i'm going to pull up my 1099 nec I'm going to go to last year and there's my contractor and i can print my 1099 from here and that is the way to manage contractors in basic payroll and advanced payroll. So thanks for watching and thanks for being a bookkeeper customer.